The great thing about New Zealand is that if you get in trouble anywhere on the road, you can guarantee some locals are going to help you out. New Zealanders, good on you mate. So after getting our van stuck, some of the locals coming down and helping us out and having a bit of a chin wag, we managed to get the uh, van towed out on our little fishing trip. And uh, we're finally here at uh, one of New Zealand's deadliest beaches. It's a very barren beach as you can see. So there's a good reason for that. The Tourism Bureau of New Zealand doesn't really want you to find out about this place because if you come down here even just to look at the danger of the water, people get tempted. And uh, from what I know, there's one to two people a year die right here. And what actually happens is it looks so inviting, it looks really nice and calm. And that little wave breaking there, see how it always breaks in the same place? I mean, I'm tempted to get in there and it's, it's just about winter here. But it looks so nice, it really does. It's like, I don't know, it's like one of those traps that, uh, you know, it looks like a strawberry cupcake, but it's full of uh, cyanide. The reality is that there's a huge drop off like a massive drop off, I can't remember exactly, I should get on uh, the Googles and have a look. But where that wave just broke right there, the only wave that ever breaks, that's where the drop off is. And what happens is the water very quickly gets sucked in under there, right? And as that wave is coming over top of the water going underneath, that's the undertow. And right there, the water being sucked underneath is moving at quite some speed and you have no chance that was a bigger one you have no chance whatsoever of standing up when that water is wisping past your feet it'll knock you over drag you underneath the wave then you go down under the drop so you probably get sucked down 10 or 20 meters <clears throat> and it moves really quickly to i forget now but maybe a kilometer out before the uh, current starts to slow. Now, if you were alive at that stage, you could swim back to the surface and potentially be okay, but the reality is you are not gonna be alive by the time you come back up to that surface. Standing here, it's a bit sad to think about. People have come to this beautiful country and this beautiful area for a look. They haven't seen the signs or they're ignoring the signs because it doesn't look so, doesn't look very menacing. And uh, jump in and uh, their family never get to see them again. It's a very sad way to end a holiday. So when you come to New Zealand and you come to Christchurch, Canterbury and you're on your way out to Akaroa, Banks Peninsula, beautiful place. It's the old French settlements of New Zealand from the whaling times. The French used to, they colonised Akaroa. So there's like lots of beautiful little French villas over there, very French style. <clears throat> and the, uh, it was the whalers back when everyone used to still kill whales. Um, of course, we all know the Japanese still like to kill whales. No further comments. But, um, It's a beautiful little village, excellent for a day trip. Akaroa is a day trip, don't, don't go for any more than two days really, unless you want to chill and do absolutely nothing for a, a day or two, grab a hotel. But um, it's only about two hours drive from Christchurch city centre, if that, maybe an hour and a half. And you have a nice lunch on the ocean, looking out over the harbour. Um, they've got uh, dolphin watching, I think they might have whale watching at Akarod, no. Maybe no whales at Akarod, but definitely dolphins. You can hire out little wee mini yachts for yourself. 
just little optimist yachts like one and two people yachts and you throw your girlfriend in it with a sandwich and feed your mate a sandwich and a box of sausages but yeah people stop here on their way to Akaroa and just to have a look because it's this is kind of the halfway point and you know when you're a tourist you like to stop and check out places on the way it's how you see the most interesting places you can see the drop there you can see that level of that water oh that's so cruel um, so yeah people stop here they're unaware of how dangerous it is next minute went for a swim at Birdlands Flat Nick Minute Went for a swim at Birdlands Flat Nick Minute 